fan of moment. Before I purchased my camera that I currently shoot with right now, my Panasonic Lumix S5, I used to do the bulk of my video work with my phone, um, my iPhone 12 Pro Max. And I used to, buy, or I used to purchase Moments lenses uh, for mobile. That's actually what got me into the company, their lenses. Uh, I was in love with their anamorphic lens for my phone. And actually when I, when I was selling off all my phone gear, uh, cause I got my camera, I, I considered holding on to the anamorphic lens just cause it was so special, but now I got rid of everything. One thing I did keep though is uh, the phone case. I mean, it's, uh, I think it's pretty sexy still. I, I couldn't, I couldn't get rid of it. It was cool. So while I was shooting on mobile, I would use their lenses, but I also eventually got into the, uh, the filters that they make and sell, not the variable ND filters, but the Cinebloom diffusion filters. And that's what today's video is about. going on everyone my name is Sammy thank you for stopping by and checking out another video on the channel today we're talking about the moment Cinebloom filters out of everything I purchased from these guys like I said I used to own their lenses and a bunch of like accessories and tech pouches and this and that I actually own their backpack their moment travel wear backpack I love that thing it's amazing along with the camera insert and all that stuff I love their gear and their Cinebloom filters have been for me the most consistent piece of gear that I've bought and that I've used. I mean, I, I, I use I use both the 10% and the 20%. The 10% is on the camera right now, um, and I've got the 20% right here. Uh, these things are are the, the secret sauce. Um, I think that's what they even say. It's these, these things are the secret to getting nice cinematic footage on your camera you know everyone likes a sharp image everyone likes a crisp detailed image but there's a point especially when you're going for when you're shooting video and you're going for more of a filmic look and you're going for more of a cinematic warm look more neutral too you don't really want that sharp edge that sharp digital edge to your photos you want to go you know you want to have the softer look but you still want it to be detailed you know you don't you don't want to lose detail and that that's where these that's where these bad boys come in these filters are available in densities of 10 and 20 percent and essentially what they do is they soften those edges in your photos in your you can use this for photography and videography I've, I've done I've taken pictures with this thing I've taken videos with this thing and it excels in both departments they essentially soften skin tones you know make make make, make the image more pleasing to the eye get rid of that sharp edge to them, but all without sacrificing any actual image quality. And you're not losing anything to the image. Like I said, I'm shooting with a 10% right now. Um, I mean, also using a CPL filter, also for a moment, which I might make a video on. I don't know, I just got it today and I'm testing it out and I, so far I like it, but stay on topic. The 10% is on there right now. In fact, you'll see, I'm gonna go ahead and take it off. And you can see, I mean, you can you can see the image is already different. Of course, it's not like a drastic change. This is only the 10%, but you can see, I mean, what they do with light in the background, they soften and diffuse light so it's not as much of a harsh, direct kind of look to the, I mean, I'm blanking on the word, I mean, but you guys, you guys know what I mean. I've used this thing to shoot some dark nighttime scenes and the diffusion effect that it has on the light is, is, is a saving grace. I mean, it, it saves me so much work in post trying to make light look more pleasing and look more warm and look more soft and it, it just creates a cinematic look I mean especially on on like headlights or something I mean on my car now it's not just light that this filter softens it's it's really the whole image skin tones this sharp digital edge I'm, I'm gonna put this filter back on I mean by now you kind of know what it looks like without you'll see when I put it back on you can compare back and forth you can see there's that softer edge now. Now again, if I put I would, if I put the 20% on here, you would see it's it's a much harsher effect. I mean, with the 20% is you would use that when you're really going for like that dreamy, surreal kind of like ethereal aesthetic to your video or or your image. It it's really nice and I've used it in some nighttime shoots. However, I mainly tend to stick with the 10% as my go-to. I'll show you real quick how the 20% looks on here. Here. 
here's 20 percent as you can see a lot a lot hard it's really leaning into that cinematic look again maybe you want to go for that i mean for something like this i i, I don't want a look as harsh as this however if I'm going for something a bit more dreamy, if I'm going for like maybe a trance-like sequence or if I'm going for an angelic looking image, I would definitely use this. Different use cases. All right, back to 10. So that's what these Cinebloom filters do. And I mean, they're one of the only few of their kind. I think like Polar Pro has their diffusion slash variable ND filters, whatever. I haven't really looked into those. But these Cinebloom filters are amazing. I mean, they are exactly what I need to shoot the kind of video, the kind of footage that I like to shoot. They come really nice and packaged in this aluminum. I don't know if, I think it's aluminum. I might just sound really stupid saying this is aluminum, but I think it is. Um, it comes with this little cloth you can clean them with. You can't really see very well. I don't know. I'm trying over here, guys. Cut me some slack. And the filter is just nestled in this little cradle. I, you know, I, I usually just clean them with the cloth that comes with them or I have my own cloth that I tend to clean with. Like I said, they're available in 10 and 20%. They actually just introduced a 5%, which is interesting to me because the 10% I think is already a very subtle look. I don't know how much more subtle you can get. They say the 5% is your new like go-to, like always leave it on kind of filter. Like you just set it and forget it on your camera. It's gonna live on your camera. Uh, I might get it. I don't know. Uh, so far, the 10% has really done everything I need if I'm only going for a little bit of that cinematic edge. Um, if I'm, The 10% is perfect for when all you're really trying to do is just bloom some light a little bit, like just make your image more pleasing and not make it look so sharp and digital. The 20% is if you're really, really going for that look. But yeah, I mean, the, 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 kind, of, the kind of look that these, these filters produce are honestly amazing and can turn any camera like low key into a cinema camera. It, it really gives you a look that I didn't think I would be able to achieve with without something like super expensive. I mean, these filters are only what, like 60, 70 bucks, I, I, somewhere around that. I mean, you're spending less on, on a set of two filters than you are on like a variable ND or something, you know what I mean? I really think that these are a worthwhile investment to make. I think your return is, is your return on these is gonna be amazing. I've gotten every penny's worth out of these. I mean, I took, like I said, I've, I've taken these on some shoots, on some photography and videography, and they've done the job for me super well. I don't know if I need the 5%, I might pick it up just to have it, but, but this is probably my favorite piece of gear that Moment has made to date. I mean, it's something like really unique. They've made, they've made their variable ND filters, you know, they made, I'm blanking now, but I mean, Moment, you know, they've made gear by now, but these Cinebloom filters are something like really unique and really original that I really admire. So yeah, I mean, if, you, if, if you've been looking for a way to, to make your image look more pleasing to the eye, look less digital and clinical and sharp, definitely give these bad boys a shot. Uh, like I said, they're like 60, 70 bucks. I mean, you're not, you're not gonna break the bank going in on one of these. Get the 10%, see how you like it. I think, I mean, I think you really enjoy, like, enjoy the look. If you're, if you're a filmmaker, I mean, if, you, if, you, if you're going into cinematography and you are, you're a film buff like I am and you just love the, the, the visual aesthetic of that filmic cinematic warm look these will knock your socks off thanks guys for coming to another video drop a like if you enjoyed it drop a dislike if you didn't uh comment let me know what you think and until next time y'all take care of yourselves peace out